Angel, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you too, Shepherd. I haven't seen you for quite a while. Where have you been? Oh my goodness, the last few months have been very busy. What have you been doing? Delivering messages to people. Really? Well, I'm glad you came for a visit. I've been looking for you. Just this night, I was looking up at the sky, and I was just amazed at how clear it was. Somehow it seems as though the stars are more alive than on other nights. It's almost as though they want to say something to us. And look over there. I've never seen that star before. The one that seems to be right over Bethlehem. Angel, you know about these things. Do you know what it means? Yes, dear shepherd, you're right. And that's why I have been so busy. The Almighty One has set everything in motion. Nothing like this has ever happened before. What's happening, Angel? What does the star mean? It means, dear Shepherd, that the time has finally come. After many years of waiting and hoping, the promise of the ages is ready to be fulfilled. The Holy One himself is coming into your midst. Could this really be? It's true. The full love of God is coming into the world. The Holy One will teach you and guide you. He will show you the way of hope, peace, joy, and love. This sounds wonderful. When will this happen? It's beginning right now, over there, under the star in Bethlehem. You've been chosen to be a witness to this. I have? Wow. And I see others over there, gathering. Should we tell them about it too? Yes. Tell them to come to and see the story unfold. in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, 
everyone into his own city and joseph also went up from galilee out of the city of nazareth into judea into the city of david which is called bethlehem he was to be taxed with mary his espoused wife being great with child and so it was that while they were there the days were accomplished that she should be delivered and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night and lo the angel of the lord came upon them and the glory of the lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid and the angel said unto them fear not for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people for unto you is born this day in the city of david a savior which is christ the lord and this shall be a sign unto you you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward all. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now, even unto Bethlehem. And see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told to them concerning this child. Heal the heart 
Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for coming into our world, for caring for all of your children. Lord Jesus, we thank you for showing how much you love us, and we promise to love you forever. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all our friends and families who surround us and help us to grow into strong children of God. Lord Jesus, we remember and pray, as you did, for all those people who are sad, lonely, or sick. Please send your healing and comfort at this Christmas time. And so, Lord Jesus, we now pray as you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you this night and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. 
Christmas, everyone, from St. James in Stratford. <laughs> 